Are you guys ready for another world premiere? Behind me is hole number one of Sunreef 70 Sail Eco. About a year ago, we met this beautiful couple here in the south of France who told us that they're building hole number one of Sunreef 70 Sail Eco. We had such a nice conversation. We were so excited for them. So we're here. This is a reality. It is built. They're so proud of it. They're super shy. They don't want to be on camera, but we're so excited to film this boat. And the cherry on top is that she is available for charter in the Mediterranean and the Caribbean. So let's go check out One Planet. Can I just stay here? Yes. Oh, this is comfortable. Very comfortable, huh? All right, let's talk about this. Where do we start? We start. Let's start with the swim platform. Go ahead. I am Hydraulic so comfortable. swim platform. And you know what? Compared to the other sunroofs we have filmed, actually never seen the curved aft portion of the swim platform coming out even further. So maximizing your swim platform, your beach club real estate. So the capacity of the swim platform is 1.2 tons. For the metric people watching, it's about 2,500 pounds for everybody who's not counting in metric. It's a very large capacity for big tender. Oh, for a whole party. Sorry, I wasn't really listening because I think we should have... Can we add this to NBBL? <laughs> this okay. is so let's, comfortable. Let's go. It's like on the cloud. You feel like you float... Yes, they're very comfortable. Oh, there's going to be so many little NBBLs here. It's very dangerous. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. These guys really, really had a good list. They've been paying attention, writing stuff down, making sure all their little must have been accounted for and for being you know first time owners to build a boat super impressed with everything that accomplished fantastic job okay let's do it uh, we have the transom shower right there and pull and pull actually not <laughs> yeah. a transom shower no. right yeah no. no what's on the bottom we do have the shower okay shower. Cool. Two yes. quick connects and the shower sugar scoop swim ladder receptacles got some uh, pop-up cleats here for the tender lines or also for mooring lines. That swim platform is so impressive. It can go to the same level, of course, like the sugar scoops. It can lower into the water. And when you rise it up, you can bring it to the same level and have a massive cockpit ex extension. There's a lot of people on board trying to see this boat. So we're going to go forward first. Well, first of all, this was definitely a must have. And I really hope we're able to accomplish it in our Lazarette. But ta-da! Seabob storage and charging station, nicely from the exterior, which is very, very practical. And the fact that it's charging in there yes. is pretty amazing. And it's yeah. also super close to just being able to carry it over and throw exactly. it into the water. Exactly. You just put them on the swim platform, lower them down. You don't even have to carry them down into the water. All right. And your favorite part of the Sunreef 70 is the sunken boo walks but all the way down to the level of the deck which i personally really like i think it looks very sporty makes the boat look a lot more slick so they went for this what they called sapphire blue it, it almost looks black in this light but then as soon as the sun hits it you could see that really like dark, dark blue, blue. Yeah. and i gotta say out of all the sun ecos i've seen so far i think it's the best color choice because it really really blends the solar panels in it really gives you that slick look you still have the solar panels in you can see them but just enough that it's just not in your face it yes. still looks very classy non-skid on top of the sunken bull walks i think it's a great feature it kind of makes me less worry sometimes you know you kind of when you're working with lines and stuff yeah it's nice to be able to just have that grip flush hatches they put teak on top here i'm sure that was their choice and it looks beautiful I very mean, true absolutely beautiful okay welcome wow. to the massive foredeck wow i mean sometimes it's tough to know if you're in a 70, 80, 90, I mean, it's just <laughs> huge. <laughs> Sometimes you really feel you're on bow of a super yacht. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, what? Exactly, my point. <laughs> so we have two crew cabins forward in the four peaks. We can actually peek into this one here if you okay, want to hold the camera for a yes. second. Oh my God, it's so far away. <laughs> okay, so we can lift this up. There's a big, big hatch underneath. I'm going to show this quick to you. So we have one crew quarters right here. And if you guys see, it actually has its own wet head 
with the uh, head in there, the sink in there. It's air conditioned, you have a inboard facing window, really large one. So you have actually natural light and then of course overhead as well. If you don't put the cushion on top, you get also natural light in from the top. Hey, I need my assistant. I see how it is. Get over here. This yacht is available for charter. We have to test it out how it oh, feels. Oh, really? Yeah. Somebody um, has to. By the way, I've heard there's an Italian chef on board. So oh. if we have to test it out. I think we need to taste oh, it out taste as well. Taste it out is a good point. <laughs> I agree with you. Let's go do that. Okay, right. fine. I'll take the camera. Okay, thank you very much. Just quickly, as you guys can see, these are receptacles for shade, for bow shade, which is not on that. It attaches to the superstructure. And then we have carbon fiber poles in multiple spots for the bow shade really nice actually on anchor so are you just... gonna volunteer to open up some hatches next i'm gonna volunteer to open up some hatches what are you gonna open ah, let's do this one so you guys can see it's a lot of storage space a lot of hatches oh, this boy. goes really deep actually in here big storage area and then as you guys can see there's one of the chain lockers right here where the chain goes in the windlass so this boat is outfitted with two chains and two chain lockers of course this is one good and, access and dual anchor you said huh dual anchor and we do have the remote here for the windlass as well so i think we should probably open this one as well i can't believe you're so willing today because it's not very hot it's actually very, and it's very convenient i can't stand on the that's floor true just it's a very comfortable it. height look at this Wow. Dual anchor setup. Nice visibility to all the way forward. You got the bridle already here. Pretty good setup. Also nicely finished on the interior. This is very comfortable. You know what? This height as well, you can actually sit Sit there. on it, right? Which is a lot of the times it's either too tall or too low. Agreed. So it kind of doesn't feel right. This feels really nice. Yeah, we have this L-shaped seating area here. I mean, you saw the trampolines. Don't even need to talk about it. Pretty amazing. A nice coffee table there. And we also have another city on the other side. We'll show that in a second, but how about this? <gasps> no, I love it. Built into the table. Hey, we should do that. Really like that. We should do that on a bar. Really like that. Great idea. Right? NBBL, 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 new boat build list. Since we're right here, we can show you right away this forward facing door, watertight door. Mm -hmm. Very convenient, nice cross breeze going through. And let's go and show you the cockpit. Okay, cool. You guys can see the solar panels all the way on top there. We're gonna talk about technology in a moment. All of these, and they just recently obviously brought the boat over here for the From show. From Poland, yeah. And uh, how many miles did they do? I believe 2,500 miles, Nordica miles. And they said, man, this eco, portion of the boat is working great. They're super, super happy about it. Especially for a sailing vessel because you can also use under sail the propellers for hydro generation. You produce energy under sail just because the propellers are turning from moving through the water. Exactly. We have two swim letters, uh, manual swim letters, which are stored here in the back. So you can put them on one on each sugar scoop or just use one of them. Have this nice little layout pad here. Let's talk first quickly about the fact that we can convert this whole area into one giant cockpit. So that swim platform obviously can come up, be on the same level. We can remove these tensions, they're all removable, and then they've made a choice to make this furniture, loose furniture, fully convertible so you can just expand the space out. Just imagine what kind of a cockpit now we're talking about. It is huge. And then as we come here, we can One see... One thing we missed. Oh, sorry. We have dual rain shower hats. We didn't miss it. We just got here. Yes. Okay. We didn't mention it yet. So we got the mixing valve right here. Another one on the other side. And then you have the rain shower hat right over here. Okay. One but, on each side. But, 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 but. There is a feature that is absolutely like mind-blowing cool. What? Okay. Are you ready? It's gonna blow your I mind. Am, yes. Okay, okay, ready? Check what this out. Ready? I'm what gonna am press ready? this button and yes. something magical will happen. Magical. No way. Misters all around. Oh, it wow. feels so nice. It's filtered water. I mean, you're literally getting, you know, like this spray bottles, ladies, you use for your face yeah, to keep yeah. hydrated. I mean, you literally have this here. Who needs air conditioning when you have that? How cool is that? Amazing. Wow, Amazing. how did we not come up with that? I have no idea. I feel like we're just not professional enough. Okay. It's absolutely stunning. Just walk us through here. Okay, so this was a big item for the owners. They wanted to be able to convert the space so it just 
kind of gives it a change of scenery, change of a vibe. So this table is high-low. You can make it like a nice lounge setup. You can take this piece out. Nice touch, you guys know I love that. This couch here is loose furniture, so we can flip it around, set it up this way. We can twist it and make, I mean, no Bob limits. is your uncle. No you can limits. do whatever you want. Of course, you have these chairs here. So this space becomes very flexible. Let's put it this way. Behind you is a huge layout cushion. Yes, and the logo of the boat. I think it's a really cool logo. And these whale tails? Yes, and it looks like the sun. Very beautiful. It is really cool. And it's light, lit up. You guys know that's like music to my heart. Me, the whale geek, I'm a big fan. Okay, let's do it. Big storage underneath. We're, we're not, not gonna, gonna open yeah, everything. Yeah, we're not gonna mess up their beautiful setup here. So huge storage. And then I think we should go up to the flybridge first. Correct. We have the zero threshold entryway into the salon, but the beautiful wooden grates here where the water can escape in case you have a lot of water. And right here we have our crew cabin. You guys know how horribly difficult it is for crew at the boat shows. So there's some stuff stored there for the boat shows, some extra things. So we're gonna show you a picture here so you know what the crew quarters look like, but we'll respect their privacy and let them have their private space. But here you are, that's what it looks like. Alrighty, let's show you guys the flybridge. Oh, one thing we forgot. Right underneath here is actually a diesel fueling station for the tender. Very practical having a diesel tender with the own filling station. No need to carry around any cherry, cherry cans. Cherry or sherry? <laughs> cherry, cherry cans to go with your peach, peach buckets. Okay, good, yeah. So <laughs> no need to carry around cherry cans. So let's go check out the flybridge. Why is it called that anyway? All right, put I it in know. the comments. I'm, I actually have no idea why it's called that. Let's go up to the flybridge. Oh, look at this! Oh, no way. Look at this, it's lit up! I can only imagine how this looks at nighttime. Oh, I love it. They told us that they have this feature, and I was just like, big surprise. But this is gorgeous. I love the compass rose uh, design, but now that it's even lit up, I mean, how cool is that? I gotta tell you, maybe we should stop touring boats for a few months, because this is really screwing with our NBBL. We have to stop. We, 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 we have to stop. No more changes. We can't. No we can't do any more change orders like we're tapped out. This is very cool. Maybe just one more. I'm really jealous right now. <laughs> okay, right, where okay. do we start? Where do we start? Well, for starters, pun intended, bum, 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 for starters, there are two helm stations. Yes. This boat is equipped with a port and starboard helm station. That's what I would do on a proper sailing yacht. You gotta have. A sailor built for sailor, yes. built for sailor, by sailor with a good uh, I, sailing I captain. I think we got we got the <laughs> message. Uh, lots of sailors and sailing and so on. <laughs> so of course we have the solar panels overhead. We can still look through in between the panels, see the sail and all the uh, rigging components. And then of course the big hardtop for the eco version completely covered by solar panels. So let's uh, walk through here. We have the big winches here on the outboard side. Very cool. Carbon fiber wheel, really like that. Shift and throttle controls right here. Dual bow thrusters, one in each hole. VHF radio and the chart plotters right here. Even with a CCTV camera, which is pretty cool. You have an overhead camera, you change the view. You can actually see the boat from the uh, bird's eye view perspective. Autopilot here, remote control for the Raymarines. Another uh, multi-function display right there. Then navigation lights horn switch, bunch of exterior lights here as well. Just forgot this here, we have remote controls here for the winches, so we can use them actually with the hand remote instead of just the foot buttons, which we also have right there forward. I'm actually the only one working here. Well, I'm working, I'm testing out the charter features. Oh, the, it's work now, yeah? Well, I mean, it's a charter yacht, so I've got to right, test it right. out. So then we have um, all the other winches centrally located right behind the mast where all or most of your sheets are coming down, most of your lines are coming down. So very convenient. And as a guest, with having the winches either outboard or right next to the mast, you're out of the way. The crew can still work while the guests can relax and hang out. Okay, I can't focus with you twisting and rolling around there like... I'm sorry, I'll stop. Okay, fine. Let's talk 
about the other loungy features. Yeah. So they actually decided that they rather have this big open space and have a foldable table that they can put up here and have a proper dinner if they wanted to. But in general, the way they use it all the time, this is just more of like, hey, let's hang out underway. Let's have a drink. Let's, you know, have snacks. And they have a perfect setup for that. So sitting area for... 10 12 i don't know oh and also like once you once you're on one tag yeah the other bench becomes available as well this hard top is longer than uh, yep already mentioned it it's the oversized hard top for the eco oh, version oh you did mention maximize, where was i yeah to maximize the solar panel capacity i was i was examining the charm features here? okay so we did get a little tour prior you guys that's why we kind of know a bunch already but check this out Ooh, nice. A must have. Oh, check it out. They did put an actual cooktop here. Yes, induction decided cooktop. Decided not to do it. I don't know. Was it the right decision? Um. Maybe we should have it. Then they have, I mean, they really just set it up like an outdoor kitchen. They have a grill. They have a cooktop. They have a sink. Look, everything's brand spanking brand new. Brand spanking new, yeah, yeah. Still some stuff getting commissioned. And then here we have some storage. And then an ice maker and a drink fridge. And then... And then Picked up some features from one of our yacht tours. Expandable. Countertop space. On both sides. Yeah, that is great. Love it. Seriously think this is something we should steal back. Yes. I mean, you know, we borrowed it and then yeah, we should yeah, steal back. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let me close this up. Next. You know, it's really important to have a perfect napping spot. So. This is ginormous, if that's a word. And you guys, this is not just a simple layout. I mean, an insane amount of layout cushions. They actually build in a feature here, which I've never seen before. Absolutely brilliant. You see this little spots on top there, this little round. Yep. I don't know what you call that. Quick connect. Yes. And so basically, as all the sunroofs, that have this build out feature, right? You can put the shade screen enclosure. Yep. It's built in already, it's perfect. You can also put in another shade, like a mesh. Just a mesh. Right here. So it makes the space for like, almost like a privacy tent. Yes. So you can use it for a massage room, basically set it up. So you have privacy on both sides and you have this beautiful cross breeze still going through or they said like our kids love to sleep outside so we give them this really cool tent we can set this up as a real bed and they literally can sleep here which is super neat and i'm gonna see if i can pop in a photo so you guys can actually see what it looks like when they did it very cool i think it's very unique then behind that we have a little bit of a working area we have the electric traveler our life rafts some antennas gps antennas for runo equipment then we have the starlink antenna right there so everything behind and of course the foldable or collapsible ladder going up onto the hard top in case you need to clean the solar panels or do some maintenance up on the equipment on top shall we go to the interior agreed let's, let's do check it. it out do we start in the galley or do we start in the actual state rooms however you want to do it we can start uh, in the galley okay real quick Please take a second, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, do the share errors, really, really important. You guys know we don't charge anything for any of our yacht tours. We keep our independence to bring you the best content. So the biggest support you can give us is take the time to like, comment, subscribe, and join us on Patreon if you'd like. Okay, let's go. All right, first, no peeking into the salon. Let's go show you the galley. Really, no peeking at all? Nope, don't peek. Okay. Okay. Get out, yeah. We're gonna come down on our starboard side. So the wow. galley here is down below. It was of course owner's choice on sun reefs. You can semi-custom, you can decide to do it whichever way you want. They wanted to create a proper galley to attract a great chef, obviously for the charters, for themselves. Of course, they attracted a great Italian chef. Jealous. I hope we get a good Italian chef as well. And they wanted to also create a space, a little crew mess that the crew actually has outside of their cabins to be able to hang out and have just their own quality little area. All right, let's go through the gallery quickly. Okay. So it's melee appliances, just like we're gonna have on our boat. So we have a microwave. We also have a steam oven, which we also gonna have on our boat, check. There's all storage all above here. I'll just open one up. 
Sorry, oh, chef. Deep, you were actually. organized. Wow. Oh yeah, it goes all the way yeah, in yeah. there. Then right here we have tons of drawers, storage here. What are these? Storage. Oh wow. Yeah, you guys, it's very deep. Oh my god. It's double deep. Okay, then we have our five burner Miele cooktop. Love it. A good hood. Then we have a 36 inch oven. We really wanted to have on our boat, but unfortunately Miele plants is a different in US and we couldn't get this beautiful slick one like this, but I love it. Then we also have, okay, look, Thermomix must have. <laughs> Great sink here, dishwasher, yes. very nice, coffee machine. And that brings us, oh wait, a really important hair, hair fridge? Is that a- Higher. Higher fridge? Higher. Mm -hmm. Is that a German thing? We've never seen it before. I think it's German or Austrian. I'm not 100% oh. sure. Nice. Check it out. Okay. We have a fridge and a freezer and one of them you can actually switch and go from fridge to freezer depending on how you want to use it. That brings me to the little crew mess that they've created here. Great space. You can just put your computer, do some work that needs to be done away from the charter, away from the guests. And then you probably should, you have two compartments, but you should show this one, right? Okay. Open this up. Look Whoa. at this. <gasps> This Lots of storage. Um, I don't know where the light switch is, but it's actually bright enough. So lots of storage space in there. It's of course, things are stored there right now because of the boat show. And then we have two freezers on oh, one fridge, one freezer. I think it's two freezers right there for all the overflow and extra storage. But you could set up even more because there's also another storage further forward, which is this compartment here. I mean, that comes in super handy, really. Wow. Can I hand this to you one more time? You got it. Did we point out all the openable hatches and windows Not in this yet. galley? It's quite nice. Yeah, it's really nice having actually this right where the crew mess is, right? You get the natural light from the outside and then look at this here. You get the big windows here with openable portholes as well as openable hatches overhead. If it's not too humid, you just open everything up. The smell from cooking goes outside. It's actually pretty nice. They also have a repeater screen in here, which could serve as a TV and also a repeater screen for the crew to be able to see everything. Correct. You can uh, display the chart plotter on there, all the information, navigation information. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's go see the salon. Straight ahead, we have a wine fridge, beautiful storage for all our glassware. And this brings us to a very large sitting area in the salon. I love that they incorporated their logo into this focal point of the room. Once again, important thing was to create a convertible space. So this couch is convertible. Loose furniture. Well, not all of it. So basically this portion right here can... Yep. Wait, hold on. Before we do this, hold on. Okay. We do have a pop-up TV right here. Very large one. The biggest one they can get right in here. Yeah. So it opens up and it's right here. So you can beautifully watch it from right here, but you can take this whole section here and that little part right there where you are. Okay. And then you can put it right here and face it aft. Reason being, ta-da! No way. It's a well, I'm saying no way, I saw it already. Dual side projector <laughs> screen. And actually you can watch it from both sides. So you can watch it this way or you can watch it this way. You can watch from the Very cockpit. Very cool, ultimate, ultimate movie nights. I gotta say this was a change for us in our design. Once we had a conversation with them about it, we're like, man, I think we need a projector screen. <laughs> Another change order. So yeah, blaming the owner of this boat yes, here. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so on the port side, I like how they incorporate this little layout area. I mean, it's just nice. Like you can put, sit there with your computer, read a book. It's very cute. It's just not a dead space. And there's storage on both sides right there. There's tons of storage on this boat. Same on the other side, mirror image. Look at the windows. And like you said, the boo walks being sunken the, in. The sunken boo walks all the way down to the deck level is really what, what gets me. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Even when you sit down, you still have the ocean views. Agreed. All right, let's keep going forward. In case you guys were wondering how does this projector work with a screen, it's actually right in here in the ceiling. So it comes down electrically and you can start your moving night. Can I make you a drink? Yes, please. Okay, so I am at the bar. Well, first of all, Come on. Oh, that is beautiful. It's such a nice that display is really here. really beautiful. Opens up like this. Oh, 
Yeah. I, I think the unfortunate part about it that it will get filled up with really fancy alcohol and then doesn't look as much of a display, right? So then on this side, we've got our bar set up. I like how they build this in. We do have a sink here. And then of course, ice maker, fridge, trash. Very nice, must have. Trash, trash. Uh, that's convenient. You guys know that's on my BBL in the galley. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Absolutely love that. Then we still have some more storage going this way. And it brings us to our interior helm. Well, it's uh, not necessarily a helm, but it's a nav station with some uh, navigation equipment. I'm sorry, it's a nav station. You do have a shift and throttle control here, actually, and then nicely hidden um, again in sunry fashion. You have your bilge system there, generator controls, fire suppression system for the engine rooms, nicely tucked away so it doesn't really bother you. It keeps us nice and slick. We have a wireless charging station there. VHF radio, CCTV camera, uh, Raymarine actually plotter where you can display your chart on there, your radar, or in this case we have the CCTV overhead camera which is pretty cool for docking. And then the whole yacht management system including the electrical system on the boat which of course in this case is quite elaborate. What, 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 what? Ta-da! Yeah, that is nice. So the they way just it's wrapped it around and it's beautifully built in with a nice foam. Okay, Shall what do we, we go first? Starboard side. Starboard side, yep. okay. Forward or aft? Um, aft. Aft first? Yes. Okay, fine. I'm gonna start with one of our smaller cabins. So as we go in, in. Smaller, it doesn't look that small. I know, I mean, they told us a smaller cabin. I wouldn't necessarily know immediately. Oh my God, but look at the window. So this was a deliberate choice. As you guys see in our tours of other sun reefs, we have the new design of the big windows. They have this kind of a cut-in openable porthole right here, which the owners of this vessel thought, you know what? We'd rather just have this beautiful, unobstructed view. You wake up, it looks like a massive TV screen in the beautiful location. So they just decided we're gonna opt out of it and we're just gonna have one big window. Besides, you have the overhead hatch anyways, which is openable. So if you wanna get the breeze in from outside, you can still open it, open the porthole openable in the shower and you can create some circulation as well and they deliberately build into design of these tinted mirrors on each side so when you look at it just the your eyes kind of goes there's it no it's a trick on you like, yeah, it almost like it's, the window is even bigger agreed it's yeah. huge all right let's let's do it quickly we have a hanging locker drawers then we have a really nice desk i don't even know how they fit this in it's pretty amazing safe in there with some drawers well, like we, like, Some more drawers. like we mentioned, the boat is set up for charter, so everything is very well thought through and, um, you know, including the safe. Plan for it. So they also have wireless charging stations on each side. Nice design. Look at this organic shells, you know, real shells here. Really pretty. And then coming into our head, I'll go in the shower. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. They went with the black fixtures is what we planned for our boat. Love it. They made so many choices that I'm just totally in love yeah, with. Yeah, rain shower hat. What do you think? Two person shower? Two, one and a half person shower? The one and a half person shower. This nice. is unique. Check this out. It almost looks like a little design feature, yeah. but actually it's a suction cup device. Uh, you just put it into the window. Yeah, you put it right here. So you have the privacy and kind of like it. It's beautiful. Neat. I've never seen that before. So check it out, check it out, you guys. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Hooks in the shower. I'm so excited. Yes. Finally, somebody, I don't know if they listen to me or what, but they finally put hooks in the shower. You uh, wash your bikini. Uh, you put half to half on a yacht. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not yes. the only strange person. Okay. Then we have a sink, storage here, drawers. Also a big check for me. Some more storage. Hey, this is massive. Yep. It's okay. really good. Maybe it's not the biggest, the smallest cabin. Okay, let's Two go hooks. forward, check out the other cabin. Okay, all right. Twist my arm. Okay, coming forward to our twin cabin. As you guys can see, they choose a color theme for every cabin. Yes, it's very common on char yachts, just so, you know, when you have a couple of wine glasses, you come over to your cabin, you're like, whoa, 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 I was in the orange cabin. This is not my cabin, this is green. <laughs> check this out. Oh, that is nice, and, and the nightstand appears on the outside, so that is really cool. Twin cabin converts, magically converts into our queen size bed. Very nice. 
Same setup here. We have a table here. We have dual hanging lockers on both sides. Yep. Very convenient. And we go in forward to this hat. Uh, let's turn the lights on in here as well. I know it comes with a fan, but which is great. But we're kind of nice to have some lights. Oh, it's I love. On. They put the hooks. This ensuite is slightly larger than the one we just saw. Yes. But exactly. same principle, like shower is a little bit bigger. We have uh, actually the bench inboard, and then you have the same setup again with the window in the shower. Really like it. And I like that they carry, first of all, step down right here. Nice mm -hmm. feature. We love that. And then they also carry the natural stone throughout. So the, technically a little bit of wet space. It's no problem here. You know, it's not wood. Yes. Very, very nice. And another one for me, they did go with a dual towel rack. Very nice little tiny detail, which makes a difference when you have two people in the cabin and you have enough space for your towels. Yeah, you're not going to realize when you have it, but you will realize when you don't have the space to hang your towel. They just don't dry that fast in small spaces on, on a boat. Plenty of towels we have been they lacking on One that. rack. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the other let's side. Let's go. Over to the port side. Going right. forward. Going to go forward first. It's a mirror image of the other side. We have a twin bed again, which converts into a queen size bed. Nice. Everything is identical here. Trust us. Same shower. This is a really good one and a half person shower. All right, let's go and show you the owner suite. It is sweet. Sweet, the owner so suite. So we are going to go aft now love the wood she told me the inspiration was to when you look at it that it kind of feels like a reflection on the water mm -hmm. that's why they put it horizontally which is also a favorite of mine it's beautiful come on in Ta-da! this is wow this is a huge that's a king size bed wow yes that's crazy that is a king size bed and even if I close the door here, look how bright and airy this stateroom is. The way they laid it out, it feels very big. I mean, I am feeling like I'm on an 80 foot sunroof. Um, they must have made some right choices in here. I can't even quite figure the out why. The bed is nicely low. Mm -hmm. Very like nice. It, it makes the room feel even bigger. Um, having the, what's that? Having the mirrors over there makes the room also feel bigger. So what? What? The door. There's a door next to a door. Uh, I know what's going on. What's going on? Walk-in closet. Oh, look at that. This is beautiful. It's like an ostrich. Very nice finish. Yeah, an ostrich look. Really cool. Really nice. This is obviously my walk-in closet. Your walk-in closet, even yes. with a safe. But don't feel sad for yourself because, I don't know, you might actually have more space. So first of all, storage, storage, storage. Working desk. All storage. Walking into our head, we have this really gorgeous sink, floating vanity, and lots of storage. Well, and pocket doors. Very nice. Very nice. I think you would rarely really close it. They also have a double towel rack. But check this out. On both sides. On both sides. Very nice. Ready? Yes. Boom, boom. Oh, that's deep. Boom. Lots of storage. That's not all. But wait, if you call now. Boom. Wow. Yes. How did they do this? I actually don't understand. And it still feels very nice and open, not claustrophobic at all. It's a very large bathroom. So what do we have here on the left side? Check this out. Separate toilet. Oh, okay. With a bidet function. Yeah. More storage. I mean, Fork. come on. Double of that. I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. How they made it feel so spacious and fit all of that in there. It's very nice. Then we have our shower. Definitely a, a two-person shower. Also really nice. Overhead rain head. Same fixtures like in the other cabins. Bench and hooks in the shower. And a window again. Yes. I mean, showering here is a very nice experience. Should we go and check out the engine room? Let's do it. Okay. I'm just in love. They did such a great job. Absolutely amazing. Who doesn't want to spend time on here? Yeah. Are you kidding me?
right. Okay, let's check what? it out. And we can finally talk about the electric technology. Oh, wow, that is interesting. You want me to go in there? Yes, please. Oh, that is deep. Okay, that is a big engine room. What we just saw in the cockpit with the MISTER system, this is actually the unit which is responsible for the MISTERs. You can program it that it goes off certain amount of seconds at a certain amount of time or it's constantly on really cool programmable so we see the uh, rudder post right there very cool lots of electronic equipment some of this i don't know what it is actually we have a water pump there i'm standing on a very large generator since the boat has an electric engine of course we don't have a main engine here we have the electric engine all the way forward in that cavity in there and it doesn't need any maintenance because it's an electric motor. So there's not really anything to do, no oil changes, no filter changes, and then lots of electric equipment here. All the cables run here. It's kind of weird to not say, oh, here is the sea strainer, here are the primary fuel filters, here are the secondary fuel, fuel filters, because we just don't have it. Only exhaust we have is the exhaust from the generator. And that's it. Alrighty, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Click that like button, subscribe, do the share. We really, really appreciate it. I'll put the charter contact information in the description underneath the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Enjoy a couple of outtakes and join us on the Patreon if you'd like to see more. Ciao. Okay, I'm, so I'm here. I'm here. Where am I? I'm here. Okay, I can be here. This looks inviting. Click like.